Hello and welcome to our channel all about home electronics. Now in this video we're going to show you how to automate your existing Venetian blinds using this automation kit My Smart Blinds. We're going to unbox the contents, we're going to show you some installation and setup, and then we're going to review some of the features and its performance. If you aren't already subscribed to this channel, please hit the button at the bottom right of your screen. That way, when we publish future tips, you'll automatically be notified. Give the video a thumbs up. We'll start right after this. So here's a quick look at what comes inside the box. You get what they call a motor box and the motor box bracket. Now they're combined into one unit right here. You also get a battery pack. You get this device called a manual switch and then you get a variety of rod adapters or rubber tubing. So the first step is to download the application called My Smart Blinds. Now this works on both an Apple or an Android device and it wants you to assign your new blind automation kit to a room that you create, which in this case, we just called it a front bedroom. All right, so you're looking at the blind. We removed it from the window. We just followed the simple instructions, took about 30 seconds. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the uh, tilt rod and this mechanism here. We pretty easily removed this uh, tilt rod holding pin right here. Okay, so what you're looking at now is the tilting rod. We've actually begun the process of removing it, at least partially, from the blind. We removed the entire tilting rod. That actually just ended up sliding right out. And the tilting mechanism, we just kind of gently twisted it to the left and it came out as well. So the next thing we're going to do is take this manual switch. You have to remove that C-clip. Just press down on it and it comes right off. And we're going to install it inside of our blinds here using the uh, provided two-sided sticky tape. Okay, two things. Uh, one is I took a alcohol-based rub and I actually cleaned the inside of the blinds. And that I did that because this two-sided sticky tape, I want to make sure it has good adhesion to these blinds, which happen to be plastic. Now, if yours are metal, de definitely wipe them down so they're clean and the tape has good adhesion. I also recommend doing a dry fit and making sure you absolutely understand um, how this manual switch from your automation kit should be installed in here. And the reason I say that is because it looks like there's a little USB connector right there, so we're probably gonna need access to that in the future. That is the USB connector that permits you to recharge the battery. And this battery is gonna to have to be recharged about every six months, depending on how many times you uh, open, close, and actuate your blinds. But I read forward in the instructions because I wanted to make sure that I was addressing this USB connector properly because I don't know if you can see it on your screen, but the hole in which the uh, tilt rod mechanism fits into I have to slide this over so that USB is exposed within that hole. That's a very important consideration to do. So let's go ahead and take the tape off next and put this in. So what I've done is I've moved the mechanism all the way to my left, to your left as well. So the hook is right here. Now this hook, really all it is is a switch. I can't even actually uh, twist it like I could with the old uh, tilting mechanism that came as part of the Venetian blinds. So this is obviously just a switch to actuate the automation kit motor. But that USB port absolutely needs to be exposed so you can get to it to charge the battery. Okay, so this next step is going to be a little tricky to be able to watch in great detail on your screen, but we'll give it a try. So this is that C-clip we removed from uh, the manual switch a little bit earlier, right? Um, you see the arch is facing up. We have to try to finesse that right under 
that manual switch per the instructions. Ah, there we go. Okay, so now that we've actually completed the installation of our My Smart Blinds unit, there are three or four tips we feel we need to pass along. So first, I want to point out, this is what we're going to call a barrel roller. It's part of your original Venetian blind. Now, in this case, there are three of them. You are going to want to make sure that all three of them are lined up in the correct position. In other words, all three are rotated to the exact same position before you reinsert your rod. Next tip. This is one of the wire clips that comes in with your My Smart Blinds kit and you install it using two-sided sticky tape. What I did, a mistake that we made, was we put this second clip too close to the motor and we found this out because we wanted to try to remove the motor to solve a different problem and realized that really what we did was we uh, caught ourselves. We can't actually remove the motor anymore. So when you put that clip in, make sure you have plenty of room to move your motor left and right so that you can remove it in the future. Now, something else. Let's try to get a close-up here. So right, right in the middle of your screen is a shiny metal rod. That's the rod that's part of your original Venetian blinds. And you see it coming out of the motor right there. Now, <clears throat> it's actually uh, passes through one of the rod adapters that is part of your My Smart Blinds kit. You need to make sure that you put the right a rod adapter in there because in our case the rod adapter would spin it would the, the rod would spin inside that rod adapter and it causes the blinds to not calibrate collect correctly so you want to make sure that you use the right adapter and in our case we had to actually put a toothpick in there to kind of jam the rod in there so it wouldn't slip in the future most of the features of My Smart Blinds are contained within the application. So what you're looking at on the screen right now is a screenshot from one of the My Smart Blinds apps. Now after you've finished the installation of the motor and reinstalled the blinds into your window, you'll begin the process of setting up the programming. Part of the programming process is called calibration. It's a fancy word for simply teaching your My Smart Blinds motor where the fully open position is, where the fully closed up position is, and where the fully closed down position is. You'll notice on your screen there's a recalibrate button and there's adjust calibration. Calibrating is the initial step, then you go in to adjust the calibration to get it just right per your liking. So in this next screenshot, this is the main scheduling screen. This is where the magic of My Smart Blinds begins. In this screen, you simply get a snapshot of the events that you programmed. When you programmed for the blinds to open, when you programmed for them to close, which events are active, and which ones you've made inactive, and for what days. And lastly, while there are a few other programming screen options available, the ones we're showing are probably the most important ones for you to use in your day-to-day -day life. This screen is where you drill down into the actual programming details of a particular shade. You'll notice you can invoke at the bottom left of your screen gradual tilting and sun tracking. These are features that allow the blinds to close at a more progressive rate in relation to the sun. So in summary, My Smart Blinds took us about one hour to install and set up. 
We believe, however, a second, third, and fourth blind could be installed and set up in as little as 10 or perhaps 15 minutes. Looking back, installation of my smart blinds was pretty straightforward and common sense. Programming of the application was pretty intuitive and straightforward to follow. We do have to admit we had a little bit of issues with the calibration process, but we stuck with it and we got it right. During the making of our review video, we used the blinds 50, 60, or maybe 70 times, and the battery held its charge quite well. We even test charged the battery, but we had to use one of our existing chargers to do it. So if you don't have one, you would need to purchase that optional charger. We also tested the scheduled openings and closings over a week length period, and it worked perfectly fine the entire time. Also, we reinstalled the tilting wand onto the manual switch, and with a gentle pull, it will actually cause the blinds to open or close, so you can operate the blinds without using the application. Hey, thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe. Please give it a thumbs up. We appreciate it, and we hope you have a great day.